Hi there, hope you're having a pleasant day wherever you may be. Today I may be in the middle of nowhere, but I feel like I'm completely surrounded. By the United States, that is. I'm at the Geographic Center of the United States near Lebanon, Kansas. The Geographic Center is located just outside of Lebanon in northern Kansas, which itself is about 80 or so miles from Russell, which is probably the biggest town off of I-70 nearby. So what exactly is the Geographic Center of the U.S.? Well, for those of you that have been playing along at home, you might remember that we last touched on the subject when I visited the Geographic Center of California. If you'd like to check out that video, go right ahead, but uh, what do you say we get back to this one? As for how to determine the geographic center of a location, uh, what you would do is in this case, take it like cardboard or something, cut out the shape of the United States, and then try to balance that shape on the head of a pin. Wherever that pin uh, is perfectly in balance, that's your geographic center. Now, you can confirm that with some complicated math, and I'm sure they have at some point to get the really precise location, but that's the gist of how you do it. Apparently, that's how they established it back in 1918, and then in 1940, uh, they built this stone pillar here to uh, commemorate the location. Now, unfortunately, uh, as cool as this spot is, it's not technically the center of the U.S. It's actually about half a mile into that field over there. Um, if you actually put the coordinates into Google, that's where the pin drops. Um, it's on some private land and to sort of appease the farm owner, uh, they decided to uh, construct this stuff here to, to kind of uh, dangle the keys from in front of the public, I suppose. So um, as cool as this is, it's not technically accurate. So as far as visiting the geographic center of the lower 48, like I said, it's just a couple miles outside of Lebanon, Kansas, which you can actually see behind me here. Um, it's really easy to get to. Uh, it's right off of State Route 191. It's actually right at the end of it, can't miss it. Um, if you'd like, there's a little chapel here. Uh, it's got eight little single pews and uh, it is a little kind of rudimentary guest book in there if you want to sign that. Also, it's just kind of set up as like a park. So you got a little shelter here with some picnic tables and there's even a couple of uh, places that you can barbecue. There's some benches here. There's even this weird little like one playground equipment thing here, a little spring thing that you sit on. So kind of an odd, uh, I mean, it's like either all in or not at all. Like <laughs> overall, it's a very nice little just kind of come to visit place. Well, that does it for this one. Thanks for joining me on this trip to the geographic center of the United States. and. Uh, Wait, what's that? Two more. Are you sure? Oh, well, um, apparently uh, the U.S. got two more states added, uh, Alaska and Hawaii. Who ever heard of such a thing? Now, of course, I'm being intentionally obtuse. This plaque was placed in 1940. There's no way they could have known that 19 years later, two more states would be added, uh, thus skewing the geographic center. All the other signage here uh, indicates that it's the center of the contiguous 48, lower 48, however you want to refer to it. Um, but uh, I just thought I'd have a little fun with this. <laughs> so that brings us to here, Belfouche, South Dakota. In 1959, with the addition of the two states, Alaska and Hawaii, the geographic center of the United States shifted about 550 or so miles uh, over from Lebanon, Kansas to here. Belfouche is located about 50 or so miles away from Rapid City in the southwest corner of South Dakota. Now, to be honest, uh, I'm not really sure how they calculated this one because I don't know how you account for like dead space. You know, if you were to try to do the cardboard method, how would you do that? Um, so there obviously had to have been some math involved um, and whatever it is, they ended up with this. As far as visiting here, this is pretty cool. They got this little monument thing set up, uh, as well as all of the flags of the states of the Union in the order that they were admitted. So um, it starts with the 13 colonies, and it ends with Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, good old California is right in the middle there. <laughs> In addition to the monument, uh, this is part of a larger complex. It has a little visitor center, um, a little museum. Um, there's an old log cabin from a resident from a long time ago here, if you want to check all that stuff out. But obviously, I came for the geographic center of the United States. I don't know, it's kind of funny. Uh, I looked at the little thing where they marked for the center, and it has a little graphic, a little drawing of some sort. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like a cowboy 
uh, on a horse that's like riding it. But uh, when I first saw it, um, I saw two cows kind of, you know, getting to know each other. So um, <laughs> I guess it's like a Rorschach test, I guess. <laughs> Overall, this is a great little atmosphere. It's like a little park setting. You're right on the Belfouche River. There's a river walk. There's picnic tables. Um, there's a little museum and the visitor center, all the flags. It's uh, just uh, off of the main street in town here. It's all very satisfying to finally reach the center of the 50 United States. But there's one little problem. This is not actually the center of the 50 United States. This is the actual geographic center of all 50 United States. Or technically, I think actually it's right there, but I'll get to that in just a second. The real geographic center was located about 20 miles outside of town, uh, but the town decided, hey, you know what? Let's build a little thing in town to sort of celebrate it. I mean, in all reality, all measurements are slightly off anyway, so even this one is probably to within some degree of variance. As you can see, this spot really is in the middle of nowhere. This is a truly befitting location for the geographic center of the United States. Not some nice little place in town. That's too convenient, no. Stuff like this. This drives it home. <laughs> now, as for why I think the actual center is over here and not here, is because I can read. There are two survey markers, and one of them is in the concrete base of the flag here, and someone in the concrete wrote 1959. But if you, act, if you read the actual marker, uh, it has a little arrow. And then if you go to this one over here, it says center. So why would I not believe that that's the center? So I don't know why they didn't put the flag over the one that's actually in the center, but whatever, they didn't. It's, it does narrow it down for you. Um, it's easy to spot from the road. There's a little path. Um, someone even wrote a, a sign that said the real uh, center of the USA. So all in all, you're here. It's one of these two. I stood on the one that said center. I'm in the middle of the United States. What more can I ask for? That's including Alaska and Hawaii. You know, I don't like the idea of standing on it, but it's the only way to be in the middle of the entire 50 nifty United States. Geographic center of the United States post-1959. <laughs> and as far as how they calculated the geographic center uh, with the inclusion of Alaska and Hawaii, they couldn't use the balance method uh, because it's not one solid piece. So they had to go to the great circle method. Now, I tried reading it, and I think I understand it. Uh, so Alaska was admitted first, and they calculated the geographic center of that one, and then they already had the geographic center of the U.S., uh, they connect the two with an arc because on a globe, it wouldn't be straight. It'd be an, a curved line. And they calculate where on that line the two would balance. And apparently it reached um, about six miles away from here. Uh, finally, when Hawaii was admitted, um, Hawaii is not a very big state, so it didn't really add much to uh, the calculations. And it moved it to where it is right here. And this is um, reasonably considered the center of the United States. Now, as far as visiting this location, it's actually not that difficult. Uh, if you're at the visitor center during business hours, they actually don't make it a secret that that's not the real one. They have a little pamphlet that tells you where the real one is and gives you very specific instructions of how to get to this location. Like I said, it's about 20 miles north of Belforge. Uh, the last eight or so miles are on a very well-graded dirt road. Um, and as a matter of fact, at the turnoff, there's even an official sign that says, geographic center of the United States this way eight miles. So uh, they're not hiding the fact that that's not the real one. Um, but I think they just want the pomp and circumstance of having the one in town that they can make the nice little mural thing with and have all the flags. Whereas this one, a little more bare bones, but this is the one that I think uh, I enjoy the most so far. Now, like I said before, the geographic center of a given location really has no bearing on anything whatsoever. It's really just a bit of trivia, just a little cool, hey, I've been there kind of thing. Um, as for these two, um, the one in Lebanon is cool. I'm glad I went there and I can say that I've been uh, to the center of the lower 48. Um, going into Belfort, it's kind of neat saying, hey, but... I think this one's my favorite because I'm always a sucker for the real thing, the real deal. Like, 
The fact that this one is in the middle of nowhere, and I keep pointing to the flag one. I really should be pointing to that one. But the fact that this one's in the middle of nowhere, it truly feels like a geographic center. Like, this is awesome. And I'm having, like, <laughs> this is great. So on this little adventure, we have been to two different cities. We have visited three locations and talked about four geographic centers of the United States. Well, that does it for this one. Thanks for joining me on this trip to a couple of the geographic centers of the United States. Um, I was debating whether to make this one video or two, and I decided to go with one because I just kind of liked the building upon, building upon, and finally reaching the end destination aspect of it. Um, hope you found it interesting. Hope you found it informative. And maybe it'll encourage you to come check out either one of these, Lebanon or Belfouche. Uh, Belfouche is not far from Mount Rushmore, things like that, so you can always really swing by. Um, Lebanon, eh. It's kind of in northern Kansas. So that one's kind of out there. So I uh, hope you had a good time, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Nope. That designation belongs to here. Actually, there, but... Nope. That designation belongs to this spot right here. Actually, that one... Wait, where is it? Nope. The actual center of the United States is right here. Or technically, it's... Uh... Nope. The geographic center of the United States belongs right here. Actually, right there. The actual geographic center of all 50 United States is right here. Or actually, I think it's right here. The actual geographic center of the United States is right here. Or actually, I think technically it's right there. It's actually this spot right here that's the geographic center of the United States. Or actually, I think technically... That's the spot right there. I'll get to that in a second.